Okay. Again, we're back. Another session. I want to tackle fear of germs. It's called germophobia. This is something I have an issue with. And during the pandemic, well, shoot, I, I was already I already had myself protected. Yeah. I don't like germs. And I protect myself and thank them. But good thing I practice that because look what happened. Yeah. So, yeah, and everybody too, wiping things down, cleaning things down, taking extra precaution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to. I'm all right. But I don't want no germs. The germs everywhere. So, and you know, you know, too, those of you who have this thing, you know, yes. I'm all right. I just take extra precautions. So, but I can, you know, let me help you understand what that is and why you should, you know, question it. Um, I did cover one of the subjects that was more popular. The other ones, they're not as popular. But germophobic, uh, fear of flying is another one. But um, most people, you know, you can get over. I helped somebody had a fear of flying. Um, they, I said, hey, you, he, he was a drag racer. Think of it like a drag race. The plane gets it at full throttle. He gets it full throttle. And he let it rip. And he let it rip. And the plane went. And he, he, he didn't have a fear anymore. You see? You got to walk them through it. Walking you through it too. But I just like to be careful. It's never too careful. People like me, we would wet spray paint the knobs and everything. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's really not funny. You know, just keep germs away. And another thing, too, that's why I have to be careful of my eye. But this with the thing with the eye, it could be anything. You, I'm fast asleep in bed. You know? That's the first time. I, mean, I usually have something like witch hazel and you, which is that, well, witch hazel is a product they sell in the store. It's for the face. You clean your face with it. But, um, and your eyes, you know. But things happen. So anyway, let's have to deal with it. My eyes, my eyes open. See, you know, the the thing over my eye, they'll go away. It drains automatically. It's like a drain. So it's slowly draining itself. Eventually, it'll dis disappear. But in the meantime, what's healing you if you got germophobic? Ten disease where you, you don't want to touch anybody's hand. Some people don't want to kiss nobody. Yeah. And if someone comes to kiss you, you go <laughs> like a vampire. Right. Well, and you don't want to touch the hand. Hey, hi, my name is so, -so. and you know that's one of this. I don't even want to buckle, or don't even want to do elbow either. Yeah. They'll just go. They'll go get a glove on or something like that. You know they're very self-conscious about the germs so you know they might have a lot of lysol in the house listerine use um, um you know keep things extra clean you know some people have that problem with the bowl with the rim it's like a calcium buildup. that's something you buy for that but you can actually make it yourself um, uh, magnesium which is found in epsom salt and white vinegar you mix the two of them together and you sprinkle and you put that in there. And um, you just spray a little bleach in if you want. And that ring will disappear if you don't want to buy the CNL. I think it's CLNS, calcium line, and something else. It's called, it takes sulfates, I think it is. It takes away the ring. It builds up in porcelain for some reason. It's like a calcium buildup. And it gets hard. But vinegar alone is not enough to take it out. You need uh, magnesium. But anyway, we just take extra precautions. That's all. It's not a bad thing. You know, just take extra precautions when it comes to germs and stuff like that. And a lot of you do now too. Especially when the flu comes. You know, people wear masks now more. Um, and things like that. You know, you wash your hands more. You know, you're more self-conscious. You know. You might carry on um, some antibacteria lotion in your vehicle. Some of you might do food delivery. You should have antibacterial lotion in your hand, you know, between jobs. Because some places want to use the restroom to wash your hands. So you might want to consider that. Or wet wipes and stuff like that. Remember that? That had, you know, like that. You know, whatever it is that you want to use. 
sometimes you fly first class in a, a plane or a business class, they give you a hot towel. Again, not a gerbil phone thing to wipe your face down, wipe your hands, you know? Hey, you know what? You don't want to eat anything or touch anything with the stuff on your hands. So you have to keep your hands clean. You have to wash your hands. Wash your hands all the time before you eat your food. You see? But people, you know, you know, with the German phone, you know, you go, you just, you're just self-conscious more. You just worry about germs. Okay? So that's what that is. So let's get healed with that. Oh, you did that right, didn't you? I didn't even put the fire on. Okay. Some more lavender. It's getting hard to find lavender. Cool. If I see rose, rose is good too. Rose, um, essential oil. A lot of people put that on that, so they're not a healing one. Well, that will go with the rose quartz. Yeah, I should get that. <laughs> if I see it, I'll get it. I can steam. No more. We went through 250 of them. Wow. And more. Let me say. This box is empty now. Let's see. I don't know if we'll need it. Candle help you see the light. If you're suffering from germophobic, germophobia, or fear of germs, that's what it's called. Help see the light. Maybe you're going into the evening now, or late afternoon, or just starting the mid afternoon, or is morning time for you. Good morning and welcome to another day. Mm -hmm. Okay, see the light. Let it help you heal tonight. See it help you start your day, start your morning. Right. Okay. <sighs> Inhale. Take that scent in. Feel good. Feel relaxed. Be stress free. Peaceful thoughts. Keep that fear down. Tone it down a bit. Ease yourself. Okay. 
Now we got to summon Archangel Michael to come down. Lightning bolt energy come down and heal and ground your aurora. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Heal all seven layers of your aurora. Ground and heal it. Ground, heal it, release it, re realign it, re everything for it. Okay? Now we do the chakras too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. The six in the back, that's 13. Ground and heal and align your chakras. Release any blockages. Ground and heal on all. Everything. So everything is covered. Now we just take this energy and throw it back at you. Boom. Don't you feel good? Yeah. Now you're grounded. While we're waiting for the sage to begin, we're going to take, pluck out energy. But in the meantime, we're going to catch you some jade. To help with your fears. The fear of here we're working with is the fear of germs. Germophobia. I know it. Because I, that's, I know the word. But it's... But we're just going to say fear of germs easier. Okay, we're going to pluck it out. Every time I do this, you go, you inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and say release. Or you will, if you can't say your nose is stuffy, then you would just say it out of your mouth. Inhale and everything. Ready? Here we go. With a good flame, they say it. Plus energy is flowing and flowing with it. Those cords, cut them out. Cord cutting. Just waiting on that. In the meantime, some jade for you. Help you with your germ, your fear of germs. Calm you down. Heal you from your fear of germs. We're going to blast that out of you. I'm going blast that out of myself too. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing we did. Um, well, I don't mean to know. We don't need to blast that out of you. Because that's something that can be blasted. It has, it's, not, it's not negative. It's just something that you have scared about. But we just can heal you. Talking, using crystals. Oh, here we go. Let's get this little smoky. Come on, let's get this little smoky. Remove that negative energy. Remove all that fear from you that's connected to you. Anything that keeps you from being fear of germs. Well, germs are not negative. It's just something that um, that you don't want on you. So it's more something that's attached to you. You don't want to have to deal with it. Uh, this is not a smoky. The fire was strong, but maybe they handled it in a different way. Because remember, some places the fire burns and kills germs. Like around the trash and, and uh, you know, gas. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean gas. I mean like uh, the the gas and fuels from trash and stuff like that. Germs from that, or places where they have the sewage. You know, they have the money there. Okay. All right. So now 
Just heal you. Quietly. Peacefully. You want the germ, the fear of germs, to easily tone down and not take over your body and your mind. You want to take that fear of germs and let it ease you slowly, comfortably. You don't want to take over your life with it. You just want to ease slowly, feel it slowly release recover heal but it takes time with fears fears have to work themselves out just like it showed you with the, uh, the with the person that was a drag racer he didn't have a fear of speeding but when he got on the plane he was afraid to fly he never flew when he flew at the end the throttle went up and he felt it he felt good and when he took off he didn't didn't, he wasn't scared anymore. Yeah. Feel good. Feel proud. Before I get on those planes, I put my hand on the skin of the outside. Even though they have the tunnels still, I can still touch the plane. I, like, I touch it. Like, say, make believe this is the plane skin. I touch it and I put, and I put a blessing on it and protect the plane so we can land. If you saw, I'm, my, my essence is all around the plane. Every plan I take is that way. <laughs> All the time. Hold on a second. You have power now to control your fear. You have power now to release that fear. Take more control over your fear. The fear of germ. The germaphobe fear. Take this moment now just to think about. Now, now, remember, watch this session over and over again until you can take control of your fear. You have to take control of it. And now you have a weapon that you can watch. This session is here for you always to help control your fear. I say in your protection and love and goodness and control your fear of germs, your germophobic fear. Okay? All right. Hey, channel members. Thank you for your support and me and the channel. Your positive thumbs up and your positive comments. Thank you. Channel subscribers, thank you for the channel growth. Give your positive thumbs up and your positive comments. Okay? Hey, if you're new, hey, you, there's you. Don't hide. I see you right back there coming out this way. Yeah, hi. How you doing? I'm Reiki Master. Welcome to the channel. Do subscribe to the channel. Okay? Help the channel grow and be a part of us here. Our family right here. We're all here together. And no one's left behind. Okay? Positive comments. Thumbs up. Positive comments. That is a positive channel. This is not a negative channel. No one hates here. Everybody's in love. Everybody's at peace and harmony with me. You are protected. This channel is warded. Warded means it's protected. <laughs> and you feel at peace and harmony. Okay? Take care now. Here's some jade to help you on your way.